Cleveland EMS, what's the address of the emergency? Yeah, I'm at 12,000 pre-term, and I believe they have you. It's like they just, it just left me bleeding like this. Okay, what was your address? 12,000 Shaker Boulevard, the pre-term clinic. Okay. Um, is there a room number that you're in? Is there who? Is there a room number that you're in? No, I'm sitting by the door. Okay, what's the phone number that you're calling from? Okay, so tell me exactly what happened. Well, I just know I'm bleeding heavy, and I'm not about to go home bleeding heavy like this. Do they need to be monitored? Yes, but it's like they didn't give me a chance to, like, um, everybody was just ready to go. I'm just going to put it like that. Okay. All right, just stay in the line. Okay, don't hang up. Mm-hmm. Is the, did the clinic close already? Like, is it closed for the day? Yes, I got ready to lock up. Okay, just stay in the line. Okay, I'm going to ask you a few more questions so I can tell you what to do. These questions will help me help you. How old are you? I'm 25. 25? Okay. How many weeks pregnant are you? I'm not pregnant no more. I got the abortion done. Oh, okay. <sighs> okay. Is your breathing normal for you? Not really. Okay, just stay in the line. Don't hang up, okay? Yeah. Okay, is the bleeding serious? Yes, it's bleeding through my clothes. Do you have a bleeding disorder or are you on blood thinners? No, I'm not on nothing. Okay, paramedics are on the way to help you. Just stay in the line and I'll tell you exactly what to do next. Help is on the way from now on. Don't have anything to eat or drink and might make you sick or cause further problems. Just rest comfortably for you. And don't move around unless it's absolutely necessary. Just be still and wait for help to arrive. Uh, what are you wearing? A black and white and gray outfit. And a blue coat and black and white and green pants. And you're standing outside of the building, correct? Huh? You're standing outside of the building? In, inside of the building by the door. You're inside by the door? Yeah, it's cold. Okay. Okay. I'm going to give you some instructions before I let you go. Before the responders arrive, if you can let the paramedics know of any medications that you take and flag them down when you see them. If anything changes, just call us back immediately for further instructions. Mm -hmm. When did you have the abortion? Okay, two o'clock. Okay, okay, they're on the way for you. Okay, hope you feel better. All right, bye bye. Need to get CPR started. That's not enough. Okay. Um, let me. Yeah, we can't do CPR. So okay. Then hand the phone. To, hand hand the phone to the passerby. If you can't do yeah. it, I need hand it to the passerby. I'll have her do it. Or if you've got any any citizens there, I'll have them. No. No. Anybody not. there can do CPR. Give them the phone, please. I understand if you if your facility is not willing to do that, give the phone to that passerby that that stranger that had that done. I need this woman's not breathing enough. She's gonna die if we don't get this started. Do you understand? I understand. Okay. I am a nurse, but I cannot have our other senior citizens who don't know CPR. I will instruct them in, We're in a dining room. I will instruct them. I, is there I, anyone I there who's willing? That. Okay. I don't understand why you're not willing to help this patient. I am. Okay, great. I'm then I'll walk you through it all. A week, EMS takes the liability for this, Colleen. 
I'm happy okay. to help you. Okay, this is this is EMS um, protocol. Okay. I don't know where he is, but he's yelling at me and saying that we have to have one of our other residents perform um, CPR until instruct, and I'm not going to do that. And make that call. Colleen, is there anybody that works there that's willing to do it? We can't. Are we do just going to wait? That's we're going to let this lady die? Well, that's why we're calling 911. We sorry. can't wait. She can't wait right now. She is stopping breathing. She can't wait for them to get there. She's taken three breaths. It's not enough. We need to get CPR started. He's saying we don't, so you can talk to my boss, and I'm... Okay. I don't know They're, they're refusing saying. CPR. They're going to let her die. By the facility, yeah. When will the fire department be here? When will the They're coming as quick. Here? They've been on the way all this okay. time, but we can't okay. wait. This lady's going to die. Yeah. Okay. Well, then, if, if if you get anybody, any stranger that happens to walk by that's willing to help, okay. I understand if your boss is telling you you can't do it. Yeah. But if there's any, uh, as a human being, I don't, you know, is there anybody that's, where, yeah. that's willing to help this lady and not let her die? Um, not at this time. No, no. They, won't, they won't touch her at all. I can't get them to well, touch her at all. Have, we have residents that are, that are hurting any guests, the older. Any guests that are there that are willing to help? No, I don't have any. Is, any a, is there a gardener or any staff, anybody that doesn't work for you anywhere? Can we flag someone down in the street and get them to help this lady? Can we flag a stranger down? I bet a stranger will help her. I, I, I'm pretty good at talking them into it. If you can flag a stranger down, I will help. I will help tell them how to help her. Um, I don't know if I'll home care. Well, yeah. Okay. Well, she said not to move her. Yeah. Okay. Has anyone gone to look for a stranger? They're here right now. Okay. All right. Okay. One two zero six seven. Fire department, what's here? This is emergency. Yeah, hi. This is um, Voice. I'm at um, Southwestern Women's Options. I have a patient we need to transfer to the hospital. What's here? This ma'am? 522 Lomas. Okay. And the phone number are you calling me from? 242-7512. Um, okay. What's, uh, what's the problem tonight? Can you tell me? Um, she just had a, um, a second try procedure, and she has a fever that's spiking um, right now, and then her pulse is up to 172 with some bleeding that they can't get under control. Are you with her right now? I am not. The doctor is and a nurse practitioner. Um, where is the bleeding coming from? Um, it's her uterine. It's uterine bleeding. Oh, uterine. Okay. Uterine. Oh, uterine. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Uh, how old is she, ma'am? Um, oh, let me look at your chart. Um, she is 17. 17 years old? Mm -hmm. uh, is she awake? Yes, she is. She breathing? Yes. Okay, I'm sending time minutes to uh, help her now. Okay. Okay. And uh, then we'll have somebody out front. Um, it looks like we're closed, but we are in the in the office. Okay. Is she completely alert? Um, yes, she is. Breathing normally? Um, yes. Is the blood spurting or no? No. No. Oh. Does she have a bleeding disorder? Are no. Taking blood thinners? No. All right. Paramedics on the way. So okay. Minutes, minutes. Keep her comfortable. Don't give her nothing to eat or drink. And if she gets worse, call us back immediately. Whatever. Okay. All right. Thank you. Okay.
Well, how old is she? She's like 20, 23. Okay. Is she awake? Okay. Is she breathing? No. She's asleep all day.